I'm a woman. It's not easy being a woman. Growing up in school, I was um, bullied. I think I had the worst experience ever. Two years ago. The strength, the fight, the struggles. I did all I could. And it was as if I wasn't hearing from God. Being a woman is I met my husband in 1990. We've been together now 28 years. Pregnancy is like really hard because mm -hmm. nine months I'm sick, like the whole nine months. Um, um, so like say now I'm size 10 when I'm pregnant. I'm like, imagine someone, I have a baby and I weigh 46. That's me, 46, 46 kg. Yeah, that's, yeah. And I had a baby, that's size four. Because I don't eat, I spit. Just the fact that, you know, there's no um, perfect solution to one, to a marriage. It's got to, it's got to be what works for you. No matter what anyone else says works in their marriage, it's mainly about you and your partner or your, hus or your husband or the wife in that case. So it's, and of course, most importantly, God. I was bullied from the age of about 12 up until the age of about 16. No, the age of nine to about 16. Um, reason being is because I was dark skinned, I was tall and skinny, and I was African. And growing up in the UK, when you're African and um, you're dark skinned, it's a stigma. You don't really get to fit in. All my friends are light skinned, so people always used to call me monkey, African bubble, and my mum didn't help matters as well because she always used to thread my hair so people were like pointing like what, what's that in your hair and I'd be like it's a it's thread like I didn't know what else to call it so I was bullied and it really knocked my confidence um, because I didn't feel like I was as pretty as all my other friends I was heartbroken I thought I knew what heartbreak was until I got that two years ago they said, now it's time to push a baby. I had a picture and I still couldn't. I was weak and I was having gas and air. And I remember the, the lady was like, this is the time to push. And I was like, I'm not pushing, I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. And it's just three pushes, the head, then the body, then the leg. And I'm like, okay. So I pushed out the head and I was like, it's time to push like two more pushes. And I just couldn't, I was just there weak, really weak. I've been married for two years. I'm never alone. You mm. see like 10, 15 people always around me. I'm hurting, I'm going through things, and Beams will pick up her phone, call me and be ranting about what she's going through. Remedy will call me, my younger ones will call me, everybody talking about what they're going through, and yet they don't even know I'm dying inside. Mm. So it's, it's really not easy being a woman, but just because I know that I'm being looked up to, I always try. I don't even tell them what I'm going through. I still get to pray with them and talk them through things. The whole time when I was pregnant, I was saying, God, please, let him be very fine. Let him have a lot of hair. Let him, let his eyes be complete. Let him be able to see. Let's have that. Does, does he, does he, does he have two eyes? Does he have, <laughs> does he have, like, it was funny. Until the age of about 17 when I met this guy. And he was like the bad boy of the neighborhood. He was like super cute. And he looked at me like all my friends. He was like, oh, are you? And I turned around, as you do. And all my friends turned because they always get guys and he was like, no, I'm not talking to your friends, I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. He was like, you're beautiful. I was like, what, me? He was like, yeah, you're beautiful. Like, you don't see it now. But by the time you hit 25, I promise you, you're going to be the prettiest girl ever. I was like, oh. And it melted my heart and it kind of gave me a little boost in my confidence. 
but I didn't really enjoy breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I only breastfeed for my baby. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's the best thing that's happened to me. Well, I was in a relationship for five years and I was engaged for two years to a man that my parents did not like. Put God first. God is your source. It's, it, it, it doesn't matter what that problem is. It doesn't matter what, what it is you're going to be facing because you will be facing all sorts of challenges. Two weeks before the wedding, everything scattered. The Sunday and I got dressed. It just happened. I was away for a week and I got dressed and I went to church and everybody was just staring at me. I felt like a, a clown, like no, like a monkey in the zoo that you're just looking at. Like everybody was just staring. I think a problem with this generation is um, they give up too quickly. So they think that that is always the first solution. But if you have it behind your, the back of your mind that you, you can't go anywhere, this is it. Trying to see if I was going to break, trying to see if I was going to cry. But that's what's made me strong. Um, and that's what's made me the woman I am today. Because in the face of fear and in the face of doubt and the, the face of heartbreak, I always get up and I keep going. Except, of course, you're in an abusive relationship. I'd say get out fast. But all things being equal, stick it through. It will pay off. I have a story to tell. I'm a woman and I've had a show my heart. And you know what it is, the next minute after, a month or two after you're married, the next, once you just tell people you have a headache, they're just like, ah, you're pregnant, it's coming. And I'm like, at first I didn't used to feel anyway, but the first year went, and the second year just passed. I, I remember waking up on my second year anniversary and I'm like, where did time go? Like, I'm without a child, but I'm a very good Christian. I'm a daughter of the kingdom. I believe in the word of God. There is no violence in the house. And I know that yesterday was in Malami Shakirat, I'm the CEO of Bonnie Beast Fabric. A woman gives life, a woman cares, a woman nurtures, a woman is literally everything. What's not to love about a woman? My name is Abimba Laikwa, I'm the CEO of Bims24. The fact that a woman can be on top of a game, whatever it is you give a woman, she multiplies it and gives you a better, beautiful, amazing result. I'm a woman, I love being a woman. Hi, my name is Dele, CEO Just Colors. A woman is beautiful, a woman is fun, a woman is sexy. The best at work is the body of a woman. I mean, I love being beautiful, I love my hair, I love makeup, I love dressing up every day, I love my body. Hi, my name is Joy Adesoya and I am the CEO of Shushan and Joy Beauty. A woman is resilient, a woman is strong, a woman is confident, a woman is beautiful, a woman is powerful. I am not a woman. I am not a woman. That is why I am.